All right, barbecue crew, welcome back. This is Sunday evening, about 7:23. I've I've seen a dump truck load of smoke shotgun shell videos, so I'm gonna make one. See if I can do or the crap. I've never made them before. Never even tried them before. But everything that goes on them sounds pretty good. So let me grab all my ingredients and I will be right back. All right, got everything going. This is a spicy sausage. I'm gonna put on some barbecue seasoning from Rustic Cuts. Butcher shop here in Council Bluffs. I like this Mexican style cheese. Gonna use that. <clears throat> and of course, got bacon. You know, everything's really close. I got my camera set up. Don't wanna move it. And then I forgot the, the main thing. Be right back. There we go, the manicotti shells. Let me get everything set up and ready to roll. Oh, I guess I can show you this. I'm going to put my barbecue rub on there. Put on however much you like. That's a pound of sausage. I'm gonna go with a lot of cheese. You want them cheesy. all mixed up this is all nice and all incorporated together all married together or whatever you want to call it all right after I get all this mixed up Bring it right back. All right, here's my manicotti shells out of the box. I'll move this tray over here. This is supposed to only do like 10 shells, but I will show you guys a couple and then I wonder if I should make this bigger. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. Take your mixture of your sausage, cheese, and your barbecue rub. They say try not to break the shells. They're very do smaller piece. But if you do break the shells, it's not a big deal. And you can see through the shell there where the meat is. So when you get about halfway, put in your other piece. Got this half stuffed. Grab some more your mixture. Turn your shell around. And stuff it back in. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I was going. You build it up right to the middle. Get another piece. And then after you're done with this, <clears throat> you let it set in the fridge. They said the best thing to do is overnight, but I'm taking these to work tomorrow morning. So I can't wait overnight. So I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours. That way the moisture from the, the meat and the bacon soften up the manicotti shell. Alright, we'll do, do one more on camera. And then I'll do the rest off camera so you guys don't fall asleep. If you haven't fallen asleep already.
You want to fill them all the way up to the end. That way your manicotti shell gets softened up all the way to the end. Right, there's that side done. Get that sausage back in there. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to throw some red pepper flakes in there too. But I will uh, save that for the next video. I don't want to stop. I'm going to be up here late. Oop, pushing out the other end. I just mean it's full. Wrap these in bacon. And I got thick cut bacon. You should use thin cut bacon whenever you wrap something because it cooks better when you cook it on a grill or a smoker. But as long as we get the inside temperature up to, I'm going to cook it up to around 75 or 175 degrees, not 75. So you can eat pork 45 145 degrees holy cow I'm having trouble with my numbers but it was in my head for so long that you gotta cook the crap out of pork you know I, I still only go about 170 175 all right there you go there's two I'm going to finish up the rest of this, and I'll bring you back when I've got all the mixture used up. Alright, got one more to go. I brought you back on just a little bit early, a little pro tip here. And I got 10 manicotti shells, a pound of sausage, probably a cup, cup and a half of cheese. I made 10 shells, and I have 11 pieces of bacon. What are we going to do with that extra piece of bacon? Yeah, you guys are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Throw it on the grill with the manicotti shells and the shotgun shells. And we will uh, <laughs> be a little pitmaster snack. And my pro tip was going to be, I almost forgot, get your bacon and stretch it almost to the point where it breaks. That way you can get, see it started to break right there. That way you can get one piece of bacon on every manicotti shell. And as you're, you know, putting it on, keep stretching it. See there, I even ended up with a little bit extra. You wanna make sure you go end to end with the bacon, end to end with the sausage. That way your manicotti shell gets all moistened up. All right, I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator for a couple hours, let them soften up, and then I'll get the grill fired up, and I will bring you back when they're ready to go on. Which, in three hours, be about 11 o'clock p.m. Yep, last minute Nelson. <laughs> does everything at the last minute anyway bring you guys back in just a little bit miracle video just gonna be the blink of an eye for you see ya alright barbecue crew we are back that's uh, one thing I forgot to do Let's put some more barbecue seasoning on these so we'll hit this right now we got the grill going it's ready to go and I'll be cooking it low and slow on the grill. Indirect heat. I got a vortex in there in the middle. And I will put these all out around the edges. Get these rolled over real quick.
go get these babies on the smoker. I'm smoking it with <clears throat> applewood pellets. And they put them in a smoke tube and lay it over the fire. And it gets some nice smoky flavor on them. Anyway, meet you outside at the grill. All right, let's get these babies on there. This one here, I'm going to throw a thermometer probe in. And I'll monitor the temperature a little bit. I'm going to switch these two around here. And Get my little piece of bacon on. I have to remember to check that in about 10 or 15 minutes or it'll burn up. Here's my smoke tube. Uh, I'm going to use some tongs to put that in there. There we go. Give you a quick peek at that. All right, get the lid on there, and we'll go in the house for a while. Let this baby smoke. All right. When this is done, I'll bring you back. Alright everybody, there is the final product. Not going to be able to do a taste test today because I'm taking these to work. And why are the ones in the middle look different? Why do the ones in the middle work, look different? They have Carolina Reaper cheese on top of them. And all the other guys I work with don't like the hot stuff. But me and another guy do. So anyway, there's two there for each one of us. There's five on my team. Anyway, just thought I'd show it to you. And if you like what I do, please like, share, subscribe. And this is Ron, Four Season Barbecue. And I am out.